to give my ex to you today. I choose. Good morning. It's Thursday, the 19th of September. And uh, here's my coffee for this morning. If you have your Bibles, turn to Genesis 24, verse 12. Genesis 4 and 20, verse 12. And Abraham's servant, and he said, Lord, God of my master Abraham, please grant me success today and show kindness to my master Abraham. When we involved in praying, and uh, sometimes it's easy to know what to pray. When a loved one is lying sick and needs a healing touch, then our heart wells up with sympathy and with love, and we know exactly what to pray. Um, when it comes to things like general things like world peace and uh, save the environment, then it's general pray prayers about a general thing. But when it comes to your life and my life, and it, it comes about being successful in this day, then it becomes a little bit harder to decide exactly what to pray. And here we know that the servant is sent to find a wife for Abraham's son and the Lord answers specifically, and the Lord sends that woman even before the servant arrives at the spot where they meet at the well. And go read it. It's an interesting, very interesting answer on prayer that we're given here in Genesis 24. But you and I, how do we know for what success to pray? Well, a general guideline is, and uh, it fits in so nicely with the New Testament, ask anything in my name, says Jesus, and God will give it to you. Once we know the definition of success for our life and for this day, it becomes easier to know what to pray for. If the world, the world's definition of success is what we're praying for, then it's a bit iffy. But if it's God's good works that he's prepared beforehand for you, if it's uh, to further and bring honor and glory to God in the way that he made you, in the way that he put you together. So to use yourself to the best of your abilities, your God-given purpose and reason and, and creation mandate, if you're busy being fruitful and multiplying and filling the earth and ruling in the area where God has placed you and you're ruling to God's glory, not for self-gain or for people's admiration, then again, all of that factored into your prayers helps you to know what to pray for when it comes to the success that you need to attain in that day. <clears throat> when we're on mission for God, what we sometimes neglect to do is to pray for the success. This guy is on mission. He's been sent with a specific task, and it's so that God's people could remain pure and that Abraham wouldn't take a wife for Isaac from amongst the tribes into which the land they'd moved. He was sent back to fetch a someone from the tribe of Abraham so that his son wouldn't intermarry, which was a command that God gave them not to intermarry. And on that mission, the servant still prays for success. And sometimes we don't stop to pray because we think, well, I'm doing God's thing. I don't have to tell him what I'm doing. I don't have to ask him for that success. But here's an example of we need to, even if we're doing the right thing for the right reason in the right way, it's still so important to make time to pray and ask God's blessing on all that you're doing. So may that encourage, may that challenge, may that excite you in your walk with the Lord today. And uh, think about it, have some coffee, come see me, make an appointment. Let's, let's have a cup of coffee together and discuss uh, your and my prayer life together. Have a wonderful Thursday.